Years ago, computers didn't have graphical interfaces with buttons, windows, or menus. Instead, users controlled their computers by typing out commands and tapping the return key on their keyboard. These days, command line interfaces are still used by software developers for a couple of important reasons. First, with a little practice, writing commands is ultimately a lot faster than interacting with a visual interface. And second, visual interfaces are time-consuming to create, so if a piece of software is only ever going to be used by software developers, there's no need for anyone to waste time building such an interface. Software developers are simply expected to have experience with the command line, so acquiring the skill of using the command line will serve you well if you're interested in becoming a well-rounded developer. With this in mind, it's no surprise that there's no visual interface for Meteor. Instead, to install the Meteor framework on our computers and then interact with that software, we have to work with the command line. To get started, find the command line application on your computer. All major operating systems have a command line application, but the name of the application will depend on the system. On Mac OS X, the command line application is Terminal. On Windows, the command line application is Command Prompt. And on Linux, the command line application will depend on the distribution, but if you're using Linux, then you probably know what you're doing. After finding the command line application, open it up and leave it open for the remainder of the course.